welcome to the next episode of this Let's Play series I'm doing. We are on approach to Titus Station in the system of HIP 8396. And this is where we are going to be basing our operations out of for the next little bit. Uh, but I would like to show you, this is a really cool looking uh, asteroid station. And yeah, the, uh, the station is actually in the center of this thing. And this is where we're going to be uh, hanging out for the next little bit. So stay tuned. We're going to be doing so we got this uh, engineered combat cobra. And we're going to uh, we're going to start making some money with it. So uh, stay tuned and uh, enjoy. Uh, give you a little bit of an eye. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these, but uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, okay, requested. Thought I'd hit it. Weird. And this is one of these little cool uh, asteroid bases that we got going on here. So we're going to head in here and dock up and I'll, you know, get to explaining why we're doing here, what we're doing here. So the first order of business is to talk about the engineers, as always. Uh, you guys know that I firmly believe that the engineers should be your first step and we've done a great job. Uh, between these four engineers that we have unlocked now, we can put together a fantastic combat ship. Okay, that's really true. Uh, however, we're going to continue. Uh, I want, I've got this, this sweet combat cobra put together, and I want to use it. So I also know, you know, because I've done this before, that the next guy that I want to go after is Marco Quint. Okay, so the reason that we are here, if you click Marco Quint and look at the requirements, I'm always looking ahead. When you're playing, this is one of those games you kind of got to plan. What are you going to do next? Uh it tells you that we have to gain an invitation from Sirius Corporation. Okay, how do you do that? You have to get the Sirius permit. Okay, and in order to get there, you need the permit to get into Sirius. Okay, and in order to get the invitation, you also have to get the Sirius permit. See? Um, and the way that you do that is you have to become allied, okay, with a faction in the game uh, called Sirius. And Sirius lives, if you click this one, Sirius lives in a number of systems, okay? And I went through and I found one that has a res using another third-party tool called edtools.cc. Click the res finder, and I just kind of went through looking for, hey, where there's there a Sirius system that has a res site for me. And it turns out that uh, HIP8396 had one. I went through, I just went through the list, yep, and I was looking for high uh, percentage types, which means that they control it. If they're really high up, and they might control these ones too, but I just went with the high ones. And I checked there in and, and Elmagest, and they didn't seem to have one. Then I went and I checked uh, HIP, which is where I am, HIP 8396 in there, and they have one. And when I showed up, well, I realized I got to see that they had this asteroid base. So super cool. Uh... So before you launch off, you're going to want to go in. Oh, well, I guess I can repair up. You're going to go to want to. You're going to want to go to this uh, restock menu in advanced uh, maintenance, and you're going to want to fill up your Olympic controls. Okay, because um, <clears throat> you're going to be a scavenger. I mean, that's the way I play. I always just kind of get what I can get when I can get it. And uh, as you can see, our in our little from even from our little uh, exploration trip, we we went and we got some materials and. I was able to to engineer this ship quite well. At any rate, so we're gonna launch off here, and uh, we're gonna head over to one of these highs. This high, in, uh, yeah, the high one right here. We're gonna head over to the high resource extraction site, and we're gonna kill some pirates. So this is kind of a let's play. I wanted to let you in on why I'm here, why I chose this system to come and and the bounty hunt in, and and that's it. So we'll check back with you guys when we get to the res. Okay, so we've uh, come in to this res site, and our first target here is uh, Christopher Lives, li Lives, Lives, and he is a solo, dangerous federal dropship, and we going after him, guys. Okay, so you just, uh, I mean, you're going to have to kind of get good at this, of course, but uh, you're going to see just how effective... Uh, you know, an, an engineered ship can be here, guys. Uh, so I'm going to talk through a couple kills, I think. And after that, 
Uh, I think I'm going to do some kind of a time lapse. And I think I'm going to spend about an hour here. And, you know, see how much money that the, the Cobra can make in, a, in an hour of bounty hunting. Oh, don't forget to, power, to target the power plants, of course. Uh, get back here. Where are you? Where are you? Thank you going, Mr. Christopher. Dangerous drop ship. You ain't got nothing on this Cobra. You, you might be three times the cost, six times the cost, but you ain't got nothing on me, brother. Let's do this. Oop, hit me with a railgun. Get up off me. Yes, sir. You going down. Mr. Christopher. Oh, don't ram him. He's a lot bigger than you are. Yep. Get that shield to go away. Doing a bit of a reload here, I think. Yeah. Oh, hit me with the railgun again. So as you can see, I, I mean, I might be a little bit more careful with, like, an anaconda if, you, if we come across one, but... As you can see, the, uh, this is not a big deal. I like when you you can go up again. Now that you're engineered, you can go up against stuff like this. It's it's not even really all that much of a challenge anymore. No, it's not like you're fearing death right now. And we, we haven't even popped a shield cell. Remember, we have shield cells. This guy might get his shield back up before we take him down. And I mean, we're gonna notice this because like it is a small ship. The weaponry isn't the strongest, so you're still gonna have to work at taking down these larger vessels. However, you can do it. Okay, and we're gonna we are gonna pop a shield cell here. And the shields are back to full. Just like that. And this guy is going down with I mean a minimal amount of effort. <laughs> I this this wasn't even scary, guys. This wasn't even scary. Goodbye, Christopher Leibsey. Oh, he's going to get one more pass on us. I think we got him. Yep. Okay, and that's not even with any help of the cops. Now, what I wanted to point out here is these guys drop loot all the time, too. Colt, and I, I'm not interested in canisters. So if you go into your contact and ignore the canisters, okay, we can ignore all that stuff, and it goes to the bottom and it's not going to bother with it. But you can see, I, I, I mean, yeah, right? So what you do is you just go over to the material. I ignored the canisters because I don't want the canisters. But you go over to the materials and you just uh, deploy your, your collector lumpets and put out your cargo scoop. And those guys are going to go ahead and grab all that stuff. So you just kind of sit here. And every time you kill something, you do that. Uh, the, the collector guys might get killed or they might get left behind. Don't don't worry about them. If, if they get destroyed, just launch two more. You know, it's no big deal. And you, so you just scoop up and you, every time you kill somebody, you get into this habit of, of scooping, which is why we built the ship like we did. Well, we got a new material. Filament composites, cool. Pre oh, the one was precipitated alloys. Excellent. Those are good ones. Cool. So, put your cargo scoop back in. Oh, we got a fight going on here. Who are they fighting? Who we got? Oh, Python. Cool. Oh. See, they expire. It. I mean, it happens. He's clean. He's getting attacked by someone. We don't want to go him. Who's attacking him? This guy. Fed, fed scum. You fed scum. Oh, he was in a wing. We could have got him, but we didn't get the scan in. So who was attacking him anyways? He was in a wing. This guy made it. Good job, security. Oh, this guy probably. Yeah. Okay, pit management again. It's going to start to come uh, more in handy as we get to it. So this guy's got chaffs, pit management, four into systems, oh, sorry, four into weapons and two into systems. This guy is wanted, so we're going to engage. No, 
Oh, he's chaffing on us. It's okay. Yeah, hey cops, I took over a drop ship over a drop ship over there all by my lonesome. Pretty impressed with that. Down this guy goes. Awesome, but we are gonna fly wing with these guys now. We found some security buddies. Oh, we got some Oh, what's going on here? He destroyed this guy destroyed that other guy. This stuff's blowing up or are they mines? Yeah, they're mines. Oh, we got a python here. Target the power plant. I think security is engaging him. Recharge our engine just in case before we uh, actually get engaged with this guy. Yes, and we do have the help of our security friends, so engage. Fire at will, fire at will. Claw. You're going down, Claw. You can see we, we don't have any problems with overheating with this build. Uh, we can, with four pips into weapons, we can just unload our entire ar arsenal on them with no worries. We're not taking any damage yet, but maybe four pips. Yep, he's coming at us. He chaffed. It's okay. He hit us with a plasma accelerator. It's okay. We're going to try and maneuver around on him. Four pips into systems. We have a firing solution. Four pips to weapons. Resume the fight. Maneuvering. Oh, four pips. He's chaffing again. Four pips into systems. He might take a shot at us again. Yep, his with the plasma accelerator. Uh, he has us lined up. We're going to chaff. Try and get around back to his backside again. Oh, shield's low. Shield cell bank. Okay, we got, we've maneuvered back around on him. Shield cell bank engaged. Shield's back to full. He's chaffed again, but we have his rear, so we're not too worried. Let's try and stay behind him. His shields have come back online. This is a difficult ship to beat, guys. Pythons are very dangerous opponents. We have the help of the security in the system. And we are going to take this guy down. He has a lot of chaffs. This guy has a lot of chaff launchers. And he is using them to his, his advantage. We have a, a position of strength, so we're not so worried about our shields at this point. Uh, and we have this guy on the run. He is going down. Oh, he's turning around. He may be aggroing us again. Four pips to systems. He may be taking some shots at us. Yep, he is shooting us. We're going to chaff. Try and maneuver around on the backside of him again. And he is going down. Splash one, splash one. Okay, we have an Imperial Clipper coming over and more fights off in the distance. I think this Clipper's probably wanted. He is in a wing of two, so we are not going to engage him. We're going to come after here and see what the cops are engaging. Probably this guy by the looks of things. Mr. Heringes is wanted. He is being engaged by the security troops. As we speak, his shields are already down by the time we get to him. Four pips in the system. Let's get a good position on him. Open fire. Fire at will. Fire at will. Fire at will. Uh, the police are making short work of him, and we have not landed a shot yet. Come on. Yep, we have now landed a shot. This bounty is ours. Good night, Mr. Heringes. Splash one, splash one. Okay, let's meet back up with our uh, security buddies. Good job, guys. Good job. Keeping this um, mining site clear of pirates. Oh, now they're going to engage this wing of two. They are engaging the... They have engaged the clipper. Mr. Forrester, we have engaged Mr. Forrester. Join the fight. Target the power plant. He is under fire. We're going to get try and get in on him. Get in a position of strength before we open fire ourselves. We are closing one and a half kilometers. Pulling around on his rear. Engage, engage, engage. Open fire. Shields are down. We're going after his power plant. Trying to move in close range for a good shot on the power plant. We are under attack by turreted weapons. The Clipper has turreted weapons. He has hit a chaff, and he's turning on us. Four pips in the systems. We're uh, going to chaff ourselves to try and avoid damage. And try to maneuver to his backside. He has us pigged. He has us in his sights. Oh, and a huge ram is devastating. Four pips in the systems. Shield cell bank. Chaff. 
Okay, we have our shield selves bank deployed, and we are back to full shields. Nathan Forster, I bid you farewell. You made a good fight of things, buddy. Good job. Oh, he is chaffing again, but I believe we have his power plant. Yes, that's a critical shot on the power plant. Mr. Forrester, you are going down. I don't think it actually caused destruction, but we did land a critical shot on the power plant. His power plant is zero. All we have left to do is finish him at this point. We are under attack. And he is not yet going down. Somehow, some way, Nathan Forrester has pulled out of this. And he is still fighting. But to no avail to the power of the Cobra. Good fight, good fight. Okay, so I am going to scoop. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit involved in this, but <laughs> I'm going to, I'm gonna, before we take off, I am going to scoop up the materials that the, co the, the this guy dropped. You can see he did uh, drop some things. Not a whole lot, but he dropped some things, so we're going to get this while we're here. Oh, lower cargo hatch. Our security guys have uh, moved off. But we will rejoin them as soon as we have this kind of stuff scooped. And that's fantastic. We have our little system authority guy making sure we get our stuff okay. Anaconda, thank you for your patronage. We are going to get back into the fight now. We're going to turn back in on the res site, look for some fire. And there is definitely a fight going off on in the distance. Moving to engage. We are running on an intercept course towards the laser fire. Something was happening there, but I'm more interested in what's happening off in this distance here. There's definitely a laser fight happening here between security forces and a pirate known as Spork. He is in a wing of two. I'm going to try and see who his buddy is. His buddy does not appear to be in the area. Spork is on his own. His shields are down. Target the power plant and engage at will. Fire, fire, fire at will. Maneuvering around on his six. Open fire. Spork is a deadly pilot. He has his aim on us. But we are not afraid of him. He is only an asp explorer. Let's light him up, guys. Take him down. We have positioned on the rear. He hits his chaff. He is still not in a position to threaten us. He is, looks to be targeting security forces. We have a good position on his power plant. We are going to open fire. Ooh, ram from the security viper. Nice one, buddy. Nice one. Nice. Right, Spork doesn't know what to do. He is absolutely surrounded. And he's going down. Boom. Okay, we have a federal dropship in the area. I think we're going to abandon, abandon, abandon the resources, and we're going after the federal dropship. Moving to engage. Looks like he has friends. See, there are two ships in the area. There's a federal assault ship attacking two security vessels, three security vessels, and they are after the assault ship. So we're going to join in on this fight and take down the assault ship first. These guys are not in a wing. They're both solo pirates. Vicious curse. Oh, try not to shoot the security forces. This guy is going down fast. Fed scum. Die, fed scum. Okay, we are positioning back around. He has hit a chaff. Looks like he might be aggroing us. Four pips in the systems. Yes, sir, he has taken some shots at us. It doesn't matter. We are going to take him down. Position around the rear of his ship. Come around. We have a line of shot. Open fire. Oh, he's hit his chaff launcher again. We're going to do the same. He has a solution, but he missed. Misfire, misfire, and down he goes. Splash one, splash one. Okay, let's go back and find this other guy. Yep, there he is. Now we have a federal dropship. Target the power plant. Maneuver around for a shot. Engage, engage. Okay, I'm not sure if we have much support from the security services, but this guy is definitely going to target us, so we're going to hit our chaff. Oh, and he misses the pl double plasma shot. Oh, but he hit that one. Four pips into systems. We are struggling with weapon power. Four pips to weapons as we turn around. 
recharge back into four pips into systems. Oh, we took the plasma shot. He hit the plasma shot. Four pips to weapons. Engines, my mistake. Four pips into systems. Four pips into weapons. His shields are down. He's lining up the shot, so we're going four pips back to system. And we are going to unload as much as we can. Four pips into engines to make the turn. This guy is a highly maneuverable ship. And he is making a fight of this. Back two pips into systems. Four into weapons. He is taking shots at us. Four pips to systems. Oh, just in time for the plasma shot. Good job, good job. So we're going to maneuver four pips into engines. Four pips into systems. Four pips into systems. Two pips into weapons. Four pips to weapons. Four pips to systems. Oh, he missed the shot. Four pips back into weapons. Four pips into engines. Back to systems. Back to weapons. Unload on him. Okay, he's lining up for another shot on us. Four pips to systems. Four pips to engines. Four pips to systems. Four pips to weapons. Okay, shields back online. Four pips to systems. Oh, just in time for the plasma shot. Four pips to engines. Four pips to systems. Four pips to weapons. He is obviously a close range build, so we only have to worry about this once he gets close to us. Four pips to systems. Oh, he's coming in for the ram. He knows he's no match for us. He's trying to get dirty now. We're going to take him on. Four pips into weapons. Two pips into systems. We're just going to buckle down here and try and put some damage on him. Try and stay on his rear now. Okay, he does not have a firing solution on us. He seems to be hitting us with some form of lasers. Oh, and here we go. We have, uh, we have some support now. It looks like the security troops are moving in. Okay, it looks like we've also run out of ammo on our uh, media. Oh, there's a shot. System, uh, shield cell bank, hit the shield cell bank. Four pips into systems before we take another hit. Oh, and he missed that one. Okay, so we are down to only our uh, small multi-cannon. We burned through ammo on that quite quickly. So we are down to lasers and a small uh, multi-cannon at this point. But we're still going to take this guy down. It looks like our security forces are busy with somebody else. David, Harrison, Rand, and I are engaged in a, a very intense battle to the death. We do have the upper hand at this point. We have David down to 56% hull. He has hit many shots. He's tried for the ram. He's no match for the combat cobra. Oh, he's hitting another shield cell bank, though. David has some, uh, definitely has some skills. He's a dangerous level pilot. And we have been joined now officially by the security forces. So we do have some backup. David, we have held you at bay. His shields are down once again. Four pips into engines. Try to get a good maneuver around on him. Put four pips back into systems. And then four back into weapons so that we can get good shots at range. We know that David is using close range, high devastating weapons. He tried to fire it from a longer range and missed. Okay, so we're going to take a boost here, try and flip him around. Oh yeah, okay, so we've definitely got him a little bit on his toes, but he does have us lined up. He's going to try for the shot. Four pips into systems. Four pips into engines. I'm not sure if this Viper is out of ammo, but he definitely seems to be taking his time. It looks like it's just me and this Viper against this Federal dropship. It's a dangerous federal dropship. High level, high ranking. Oh, and he hit me with the plasma accelerator again. It's okay. Minimal damage. It looks like he only got one off. He may be struggling with uh, pit management. He may be struggling with keeping his weapon power engaged at this point. Uh, we're not having too much success. He is highly maneuverable, and he's he's keeping his power plant hidden. Uh, but we have got him down to 22% haul. I believe that this is going to be the end for David Harrison Brand. He has had us aggro the entire time, even though we do have a small backup of a Viper security ship. He has had us targeted and in his sight the entire time. David Harrison Rand, your time has come to pay the Piper. Okay, and we are shortly going to run out of ammo on our small multi-cannon as well, and we will be just down to lasers. But we almost have them. 8%, 7%, oh, and he lands a 
devastating shot with the plasma accelerators. We're going to have to hit one of our shield cell banks yet again. And his, he got his shields back up. David Harrison ran is not finished. This is one hell of a fight, David. I will hand it to you. For a wanted pirate, you are one heck of a pilot. Okay, back with our power stance, two into systems, four into weapons, and I believe this is going to be the end for David Harrison Rand. 2%, 1%, splash one, David Harrison Rand. Okay, so we're going to set out our collectors on this one. We are on bingo ammo, guys. We're going to have to set back for uh, RTB for refuel and rearm. So, hope you enjoyed that little uh, <laughs> shenanigans. And you can see just that little out outcome here. Uh, 2.8 million credits. And that was a heck of a lot of fun. So definitely not bad. We picked up some 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 more uh, engineering materials, and that's him coming in. Uh, we need to rearm at this point. We're out of multi cannon ammo, but that was a good run. 2.8 million credits in the bank account. Minimal risk to ourselves. Okay, so retract our weapons. We have all those materials, and off we go. Okay, we are back in the fight. Rearmed, repaired, refueled. Looking to kill some more pirates. Oh, we got an adder over here. Should be able to make short work of him. He might be a man he might be a miner though. We don't attack friendlies here. No, he is wanted. Black hand. The black hand wanted. We should be able to make short work of this guy. Which is exactly what we're going to do. Four pips into engines for a good turn. Four pips into systems. He's going to take some shots at us. Four pips into weapons. And we're going to unload our payload. Target the power plant. I'm not too worried. This guy only has one weapon. Oh no, it's an adder. Maybe he has two. Doesn't matter. This guy is going down in very, very fast amount of time. Oh, he's using the rock to try and get some damage on us. I don't know if he hit the rock or not, but we have to be very careful here not to smash the rock. He is going to try and use the geological to his advantage at this point. He is in flea mode. He doesn't want to die. That's okay. You shouldn't have broken the law. Crime doesn't pay, Lester Square. And he is gone. So we have a friendly over here. It looks like our security friends are engaged. There's a fighter. Who does the fighter belong to? Is it the Anaconda? We have an Anaconda. Less trait. We have a dangerous Anaconda. The security forces have engaged. He is wanted. Targeting the power plant. Moving to engage. We would like a little bit more backup here, guys. Security, security. We have a fighter and only one eagle. This lone eagle is taking on a dangerous anaconda. Where's the support, guys? Where's the support? We need to give this guy some support. Can we take down this fighter? Let's take down the fighter. We can give some aid. The fighter got away. We are in trouble, guys. We are in trouble. We were not able to tag the fighter. We're still on his tail, though. The Anaconda has now targeted us. We are in some serious danger here, guys. The fighter is evading. We are trying to land the final shots on the fighter. The fighter is down. Okay, so we have gotten away. It looks like we do have some backup now. Security forces have engaged. We're going to target his power plant. His fighter is down. And that's going to make it a little bit easy to, or easier to engage this man. Okay, take a breath. He is hitting the shield cell bank. Engage with the lasers. We do have an anaconda. We have two anacondas. Okay, this guy, we're feeling better. Security forces have reinforced us. Uh, we, we now have a sufficient amount of firepower to take this guy on. And he's not going to aggro us when he's got all these anacondas shooting him. And so ends... 
the saga of Lestrad. Okay, we're trying to put a little bit of lateral thrust. Oh, he's going after the anaconda. I thought that uh, huge plasma accelerator was bound for me, but he is going after that anaconda that's firing on him. We are providing support. Lestrad, you are going down. Power plant at zero. It looks like he has a critical failure. Yes, he is done for. Take a look at what kind of materials he may have dropped. Thermic alloys, proto lights, all really good materials. So I am going to take a second here and scoop those up. We have a very sufficient uh, security detail that has responded to this threat of the anaconda. Made short work of him. I'm happy to be able to have helped. We're going to pick up some of these high grade materials that this anaconda dropped. Shield emitters. What was new? Protolites? No, proprietaries. Excellent. Okay, so we're just going to wait for our collectors to uh, to collect the rest of this. I think there's only two more bits. And then we're going to get back into the fight. Looks like this, the security forces are still within our scope of our radar, so they haven't moved too far off. I wouldn't doubt if they found another criminal. The, these resource extraction sites are known to be highly dangerous. Thermic alloys. Why hasn't he got this? Just a ways? Or is he coming back? Oh, yeah, he's coming back. Okay, cool. Undiscovered, too, yeah. I really want those thermic alloys. Palladium. Ignore that one. We don't want that in our cargo hold. Thank you very much. Okay. So we have another fight off in the distance here. Our security friends have definitely found... We, these guys are still on our... Why haven't the anacondas engaged? The anacondas stay back for big threats, perhaps? I don't know, but we do have some security engaging something over in this uh, general area. It is a Fertilance. Torin... Tor... Tenson? Tor's Tenson, and he is wanted. His shields are already almost down. Our security friends are engaging him. Open fire. Fire at will, fire at will. We are moving in from behind. We want to make sure that we don't fire on our security friends because they will not like that. So when they have the line of sight, you want to be sure to let go of your trigger. Looks like Torrenson is not happy that we're getting involved. But he has no choice but to engage the raising amount of security ships that have descended on his position. I don't know if he was thinking he was going to get an easy prize here, but not when Commander Jean-Luc Picard is on scene. There we go, we're making short work of this Fertilance. Oh, no. He was trying to get around to our tail to get one last stand, but it's not going to happen. Alright, we have another Adder here, Dangerous Adder. Togmagura, he is also wanted. We are going after this Adder straight after. Trying to take his shields down with the uh, burst lasers as quickly as possible. Open fire. Fire at will. Fire at will. Shields are down. We don't have any security support, but this is just an adder. They probably figure we have this under control. And they would be correct in assuming so. Okay. So this outer is going down in short, short order. Oh, don't hit the rock for systems. Ah! Okay, we didn't hit him, but we do have fights going on. Nope, that's a miner. We have security forces just performing uh, routine scans. Nope, we do have a fight. We have a fight. I guess an Asp Explorer. Okay, this guy is wanted. He is a criminal of the Black Hand. We have incredibly close range on this man. And we are going to use that to our advantage and absolutely light him up. You're going to try not to lose this upper hand. This position of strength is very, very close. It's definitely plays to our strength with our lasers and our multi-cannons. But he realizes that he's trying to put this, but it is too late for him. Down he goes. Nope, we have a sidewinder now. We have an elite sidewinder, and he is wanted. 
We are going to go after him, Elite Sidewinder. This is uh, from the crew of Tyran. Oh, and he is rocking rail guns in that uh, Sidewinder. Suppose if you are flying a Sidewinder, you probably want to put rail guns on it. Doesn't matter though. We nearly took a hit off that rock, but we came out unscathed. Sidewinder is down. Let's go back and check what our security friends are up to. Our security friends have engaged someone. Oh, and it looks like a crate phantom. There are multiple. This is a wing of two. Looks like one of our anacondas are being attacked by multiple. Multiple. This is not a security agent. My mistake. This is not security. This is a wanted anaconda in a wing. A highly dangerous situation, but he has a whole slew of pirates on him, and he is going down fast, so we are going to get involved. Oh, look at the missiles. Oh, dear. We took a hard ram, a hard ram from our security friends. Watch your fire, commanders. I suppose they're saying for us, get the heck out of the way, civilian. We took a hard ram from one of those anaconda security. That's okay. This guy is trying to run. We cannot let him away. This is a huge bounty target. He is trying to run. We have lots of help from our security friends. We're going to try and make a maneuver here. Get him down before he jumps. We're putting a lot of lateral thrust here to try and stay on his side. We got him. Down he goes. Okay. And this guy also wanted. This is the guy we scanned earlier. Jeff Gardner. But he got away. Jeff Gardner got out. Good job, guys. We got the we got the main target. We got the main target. Okay, and we have a whole slew of security here that we are going to follow suit. See what they engage next. That was an intense battle. Looks like we do have a wing. We have a wing of three. Two eagles and a viper. We'll see what the... Uh, see what these guys decide they're going to engage but it does look like they are moving into position they may be more interested in this fight over here it would appear so they're more interested in whatever's happening over here yeah, this looks like a just a yes that's why this guy is actually a targeting the keelback so there's a larger threat over here for them because someone's actually under attack Okay, so I've lost track of where that wing went. Looks like they're there. Looks like they may be getting involved in this fight as well. Security agents are moving in. Yes, it looks like this wing is going to get involved here. They're after this uh, minor killback. I'm not sure what's going on. For the time being... This miner seems to be safe. The security agents seem to be moving off to the side. Yes, and they are engaging that sidewinder. I don't think we're going to be in time. Yes, he's already down. Now that is who they moved on. We got a nice firework show lighting up the uh, hull of the anaconda there. And it looks like this is the one that they're engaging. This man right here. Ian Harding. They are attacking Ian Harding, so we are going to join. Highly maneuverable eagles. Ian Harding. This is the last time you attacked an innocent miner in our system. Splash one. Splash one. Okay, let's see who else they're going. No, this is a security agent. But they do so already appear to have engaged someone off in the distance. These miners are under attack here. We have to defend. Uh, we have to defend these miners. So it looks like they've the security forces had split that wing. We took on the one eagle. They have another eagle engaged off in the distance here. We are moving to intercept. It looks like he may be trying to flee here. We're going to put some power into our engines, try and trace him down. We have achieved close range, but we've overdone it a little bit. Four pips in the engines, 
Four pips into weapons. Looks like we are being engaged from the rear. Four pips into systems. Eagle is down. Yes, sir. The Viper. The Viper has gained our backside. We need to immediately evasive maneuvers. Get back into a position of strength. However, we do have backup. Our backup was also engaging him. He, they pull, he pulled us, pulled him off of us, and we are going to retain. We do not need to use a shield cell bank as of right now. We're going to pull back into strength and help to eliminate this Viper. Okay, he has hit a heat sink, which has made him harder to target. However, at no avail. That is a wing of three that's been destroyed by our wing of security agents. Ooh, promotion to novice. So I just wanted to check in. You know, I had a dinner break, and farting around at this for probably about an hour, I would say. Um, and I've put... 14 million in the account and, and I'm you know super happy with the combat cobra I'm taking on ships that I had no business taking on way higher level than me um, there's not many things I fear honestly like I'm coming through here and, and I've had some good fights with some of these NPCs but but nobody's really uh, and mind you like sure like I, I, I am good at combat but uh, I mean like I can take damage uh, the shield cell banks come in you know, when they need to come in and, and I mean I've got no fear of pretty much anybody in these things I, I would still stay away from taking on wings unless you have the the security backup to do it but I mean this is just um, fantastic you know and uh, there we go look at that shields went down good opportunity to, to kind of show you I, I didn't hit my shield cell bank, but uh, I mean, I'm still not too afraid, honestly. <laughs> and then the canopy breaks. Good call. Good call, Jean-Luc Picard. No worries, we got him. Uh, yeah, but I mean, things like anacondas can still be pretty dangerous, is what I kind of was, was pointing out here. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go after that lot. So, um... Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. I've put like 14 million in the account. Uh, I'm taking on ships like, I mean, the FASs, the, we've went, gone after FDLs uh, with with limited amount of problems. The the Anacondas are still, you know, they, they got a lot of firepower, but uh, as long as you got your, your buddies helping you, it's, it's been pretty, pretty good. Uh, I'm sitting at Friendly with Sirius, so I, I'm going to hang out here a bit more, and, you know, until I get my allied status, and then we'll kind of look at what we're doing next. We're going to buy a new ship. Uh, and yeah, so I'm going to keep on, uh, keep on doing some, I'm having fun. You know, this Cobra has been a lot of fun to fly. It's, it's doing great as far as, uh, what you can expect from a Cobra. Um, and yeah, like I'm taking on enemies that are way higher level than me, way higher ship class than me with, with little amount of problems. As you can see, I did a little bit of role playing there. It was, uh, or I don't know what you would call that role playing or, uh, commentating or what you would <laughs> say I just did there but uh, yeah it's good fun these these red site these red sites are, are good fun we'll go take a look at what's going on over here we got a fight happening and I mean like ships that are your own class just poof good night you know if you're going over after asp explorers or, or uh, other cobras or I mean anything in the, in the small ship class it's it's even a vulture is, isn't a big deal in in this ship it's it's been you know, good fun. Yeah, this is a good example. We got the, uh, the, the, the federal ships have been, you know, they, they, they fly well. They, they've been really flying well. They, they give you a good fight. And we do have some backup, but, uh, yeah, these guys can be a bit of a challenge, but, I mean, good fights. Good fights. It's always good to have a good fight, you know, and then you come out on top, of course, which you will. But, it's always good to have a good fight. And we do have an anaconda backing us up here, so, I mean... But this is what you look for, and there's you don't have to hang back, you don't have to sit here and wait like a vulture, and not the ship vulture, like the bird vulture. You're picking off the you know the prey of your your uh, the dead prey of your betters, I guess. But no, you can get involved in all of these fights. There's there's no real need for you to be afraid and be sitting back in the what's gonna call it in the background waiting for you know like the scraps of the security guards i mean I, it's still a good idea to fly with the security guards and and use their dps to help you but yeah yeah you can see i i mean we, we can we can take some damage we can deal some damage it's been 
It's been really good. Uh, proto lights are the ones that I'm after. I've got not a. I'm starting to though. There we go. We'll get that one. Looks like we got an FAS in the contacts. If uh, what's this guy? Yeah, I think we'll go after the FAS next. That guy's sure to be wanted. Dirty feds. Okay, so we got that guy. Got some scans. Get my weapons back out. Yeah, and I'll show you. And I'm got, and I'm happy to have this anaconda here as, as backup. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, see, there's. I mean, you you don't have to have two anacondas here. In fact, this guy's gonna go down fast. But yeah, I mean, you don't have to to be sitting back and waiting. And you, know, you can engage stuff, and, and you're you're just fine. This ship is you know performing fantastic. And I, and I've been collecting somewhere between like three and and four and a half million per per run. In, in about like you know 10, 10 minutes or so, three four million. This you get the good spawns. You can definitely do that. And then you, of course you have to go back and repair and rearm or get more shield cell banks and and then so that takes some time. But yeah, I mean, I'm gonna say an hour, 15 million an hour in, a, in this in this Cobra, 15 million an hour, which is fantastic money. I mean that's that's great for combat and in, in a small ship 15 million an hour in a small ship and you can repeat this as, as many times and in many places as you want to do it yeah so here's another good example here is uh imperial clipper who is no doubt i mean dangerous way better ship than what i'm flying way better uh <laughs> rank than i am he's dangerous i'm only uh did i even get a promotion oh, i'm a novice now Ooh. yeah we'll take him on I don't, you know, I don't even wait. I mean, these guys, these medium ship classes have been fairly uh, doable. And I do have some help from the security too, so I mean, this makes it real easy. But there's no need to, like I was saying, like with the, a lot of times people use the strategy of just sit back and wait with this engineered Cobra. Nope, get right in there, man. Jump in there. Have some fun. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is a good time fighting in these red zones. Just have some fun. We got no fears. This guy attacks us. Fine. Go for it, man. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. No big deal. Especially when you've got the backup of the security like we have. You're seeing we're taking shots from them. It's no big deal. You know, and if we do start to get low on health, shield health, we just pop off one of those shield cell banks and uh, we're okay again, which we're probably going to have to do here in a minute because he is, he's got us alpha Yep, we'll do that. Chaff, shield cell bank. And full shields. You know, like it's 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 a great build, guys. I highly recommend it. it this is uh, newbie combat, man. High level newbie combat. Great little build. And here's a good example too. We got a wing of three here, and I'm gonna help these cops take them down. They're attacking the anaconda, so I, I mean, I I'm still not really afraid of like getting involved here. There's still three of them. But of course they're engaged with the police, and uh, the police are shooting them, and we're having a, a good old wing battle here. And I'll get in, and I, you know, I decided I'd take on this di diamond back, and I, I mean, look at that. Uh, this is a ship that's similar in class to your own, and good night. Oh, we do have an anaconda there, though. That's a good payday. And some guys, yeah, he's in a wing of two as well. Or was he the other one in the wing? Weird. Oh, ouch. Okay. <laughs> Ram for the win. You may have been one of the other guys in the wing. Okay. Now we're going to get involved in this too. Do it when I'm actually paying attention more. Though getting the shields go down. Another anaconda going down. And I think this is going to be about it. Uh, I'm going to be out of, you know, I'm going to be bingo on ammo after this, so. And then, yeah, see, when, the, when it happens like this, he's more concerned with the security guards. You can just sit there and light them up. Of course, I mean, it is an anaconda. It's an anaconda. He's going to take a minute to get him down. But uh, he will go down. Uh, save some of these rounds for when his shield goes down. I am nearly dry here. I think we may have lost some of our backup here. That's not good. Is it just me one on one with an anaconda? Uh, that would not be a good. Oh, and his buddy's shooting at me too. Uh, this is not good. 
Where the heck did our uh, guys go? So if this happens to you, we're having some good examples here. Just bug out, man. Go find some of your security guys. Yeah, see the security guys got dragged over here for some reason. Go, go, just go find them. They're leaving? why they decide to leave? Maybe he's out of ammo too. This was my buddy. Ah, that's what happened. Maybe they're out of ammo too. Okay, so we do have another system authority here. What's he doing? Hey, we found another, uh, yeah, there we go. We got another, uh, is he gonna come help? Oh, no. What's going on here? I was like, what is going on? Because his buddy is definitely deciding that he wants some. Okay, I'm going to take down this vulture. Or this uh, viper. Because he definitely decides it, died, decided that he wants some of me. So, let's go after him. So, I am bingo on ammo. I do have some of my uh, small... Ooh, that's going to hurt. Okay, shield cell bank. Oh, and I'm out of banks, too. Oh, out of ammo, out of banks. Yes, it's time to go, I think, here, guys. Well, let's see if we can't take this guy down first. And get that, uh... Well, we'll see. Maybe we can get him. And you can see that, I mean, we're, we were out of ammo, we're out of <laughs> shield cell banks, and, and we're still doing just fine. Yeah, and this guy's gonna go down, and he's out. And then that Aganaconda's still on the table. Let's go over there and finish him off. Looks like they may have got his shields down. Maybe they didn't, but we do have some backup now. Did the Anaconda get involved? Yeah, the Anaconda's involved in this now, so that's good. We gotta be careful, because we are, you know, we, we are out of ammo. We are out of shield cell bank, so we got to be real careful with this one. I'm not sure if he's going to decide that he wants me still or what, but... That's a wing of three. A diamondback explorer, a viper, and an anaconda. And we did that, mind you, with the assistance of the the system security, but we we, are, we just did that in, in a Cobra that was pretty much bingo on ammo. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Oh, nice. Flying around with this anaconda now. This guy might want... Yeah, he's targeting me. Try and get around on his backside again. Yeah, I'm not gonna try and take these shots. I'm gonna try and get myself into a better position. Okay. I like that. He's banking. He's not able to. We're going to get around on him. Yep. Yep. Yep, so I took the opportunity to do a boost maneuver. And I think I've gained his backside. Sacrificed a little bit of shield for that, but worked out. Yeah, I've gained his backside again. I've got a great shot on his power plant, and he's going down. Yeah, there he goes. And that's bingo, guys, back to base, RTB. So, nice. So that was, you know, what about, about ten, yeah, about 4 million. 10, 15 minutes every 4, every you know, 10, 15 minutes. Not bad at all. Uh, so, let's get on out of here. Alright, I'm gonna 1v1 this gunship. <laughs> As you can see, I don't have any, uh, oh crap, and he has a fighter too. This is a bad idea, Adama. This is a bad idea. What in the F? How has this guy gone off radar? What, because he had like a heat sink or something? Oh, this is bad news. Oh, come on. Ugh. 
This was a really bad idea. Okay, so gunship, not such a great idea. <laughs> well, plus of the gunship is he's really slow. Oh, but the fighter isn't, though. Okay, but we're out of the uh, the gun range of the... Maybe we could still do this. we got to get rid of this fighter. Yeah, the fighter's still coming at me, and I'm definitely out of the range of the gunship. I need my shields back online. We gotta take down this fighter if we're gonna have any chance whatsoever. We gotta take him down fast before he gets back on our rear end. Come on, get the fighter down. Come on, come on. We gotta get this fighter down. He's gotta be out of heat sinks now. Oh, we got him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, fighter's down. Okay, now we can focus on the gunship. Nice moves, gunship. With that fighter of yours. Very sneaky. Okay, so now that the fighter's out of the picture, that I was not expecting. Nice move. That fighter definitely caused me some issues. Okay, so now that we uh, we no longer have that uh, fighter to deal with. Oh, was that three? We got two left. Okay, we got a bit of overheating happening because of the shield cell. But we are definitely taking on this gunship. I mean, we have no business taking on a gunship, guys. Like, we had no business. And mind you, you can see, I mean, that, that's still a, a dangerous, uh, <laughs> that's still a dangerous proposition, taking down a gunship and a Cobra. But, uh, doable. Extremely doable. <laughs> <laughs> Die, Fed. Yeah, and I'm just using a lot of vertical thrusters trying to stay on his rear end. Fifty percent haul. <laughs> Down in a gunship. A dangerous gunship in uh, Cobra Mark III. Okay, do I have, or am I out? My shields go down, I'm not, yeah, I'm out of shield cell banks, oh my goodness. You might win the day, his power plant's gone. Oh dear, come on, come on, come on. This is to the death, guys. This is to the death. Oh, that's not good. This is to the death. Okay, boost off. Oh, yes. Come on, shields. Come on, shields. Yes. Okay. So we got our shields back online. Okay, so he's gonna do it again. He's gonna do it again. My shields go down, I am done for. Oh, we got him. Yes. <laughs> okay, so that was... See, that's not generally a fight I would suggest to take. And, and for those reasons. But as you can see, I mean... Doable. And it should not be doable. <laughs> so, checking in, guys. I mean, we had a fun little fight. So I, I wanted to show you that, you know, you're not invincible. Even still taking on, you know, something like a gunship is challenging. Doable, but challenging. 
and it's good to it's good to challenge yourself in combat, and it's that good fun. So we won the fight. We came in. We got about a half a million, <laughs> half a million bounty from killing that guy, but it was enough to push us over the top too with uh, Sirius. So I, I have accomplished my goal here. Uh, our first. Uh, our first requirement for Marco Quint is now done, and now we need to find some, uh, what's I'm gonna call it? What do we call it here? Marco Quint. You can see that we have uh, gained access to Marco Quint because you were invited. We have not. Uh, but we have the permit, so we have to go, th This for some reason it's not happening in this system, and it's, it's a good thing to mention. Uh, when you're in a system with Sirius. Usually there's like a... So there's something odd about this system, but I came here, like I said, because I wanted to do some bounty hunting and get the Allied, so I've got to go somewhere else that has Sirius. But I think we're going to go to Diagandri and buy an ASP so we can actually do some missioning. We're going we're gonna to build a mission running ASP. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do that next. <laughs>